Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back for the Talos Principle 2 tonight. One more main section here to go. Get the stars, do the Golden Gate puzzle things, whatever, and then we're probably done, huh? Surely there is no post-game. <laughs> Surely there is no post-game, but I think we're done in this section, right? It's the, where we kind of left off. Uh, we got pretty much everything. Yep, now it's just on to... Uh, West 3. So let's go to West 3. One more uh, death laser to activate. So we go in the murder pyramid and then maybe We're find Byron? Who knows? Who knows? I hope Byron is still okay. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. Because that's all we got to rely on in, in, in these days is hope. That's all we got is hope. Not uh, a bunch of semi-immortal robot humans to do things, no. All we got is hope. Hmm. Look at this place. It's big. Big ol' area for this last one, I guess. Alright, well, what do we got over here? Oh good, Cryer's here again. Perfect. Can't wait. What can I do for you, 1K? What can you do for me is a big fucking question. Uh, what do you think about the choice I made? Blah blah blah. I don't know if <clears> sharing <throat> the truth so openly was a good choice. Well, guess what? It was my choice, not yours. Predict the consequences of such sure action. is. Okay. Well, that was <laughs> thanks to the pep talk, Cryer. It's fucking worthless. Another All right. Let's structure. see. Yeah, lots of but what remarkable structures around be? here, honestly. Actually, I can answer this one. In the file stuff. 1K downloaded, In the they're files. designed for a launch pad for space vehicles. A launch pad, you this say? Is identical. Well, it certainly does look like a launch tower of so. sorts. Hmm. Wow. Imagine if it weren't. It's big. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the star hey. is not the Oh, well, you're cute. We're oh, gonna go up to the top of the tower. <laughs> I mean, more or less, eventually, right? Hey, Omega Weapon. How you doing? Let's see it. Um, no. Did not have off for ye olde President's Day. Um, the place at which I'm presently employed does not, uh, give us every federal holiday off, which is unfortunate, to be sure. Unfortunate, to be sure, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so we got lots of stuff going on here. New area, we gotta scope it out. Go with all the glowy hand bits. Looks like there's one more Prometheus star here. Pointing off that away. Okay, okay. Can we just get that... I mean, I've got eyes on it. Can you just tell me it's a little star thing? So I don't have to go over and walk right next to it, aren't I? Uh... Get close enough just for it to pop up there. Oh, and it's Yakut. Yakut, what's up? What's up, 1K? Yeah, no, that's what I'm asking you. What's up? Uh, design a spaceport. What do you make of that? Oh, man. I love the idea of going up there. There's so much to see on Earth. But there? But there's so the much more up there. Literally yeah, endless. that's true. There's things out there we can barely imagine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you think about it, we're basically built for it. I mean, yeah, we're no longer fleshy we meat sacks, right? Yeah. The only resource we need is energy. Oh, is that all? We can land on planets with minimal atmosphere or heavy gravity. Imagine seeing a sun a thousand times the size oh, of our I'm own. imagining it. Dude. Imagine, imagine planets it. where life has evolved from completely different materials. And you know what? What? I think it would make us love the Earth even more. Yeah, probably. No place like home and all that, right? Uh, that's all. Thanks, you good. Insightful. Uh, okay. So, oh, wow. The central area is nice. So, I, I bet they stop us from walking over that rail, because that could drop us into the, uh, the gate puzzle down there, right? Yeah, I'm probably going to check that out just out of spite. Even though we are only two stars away from doing those puzzles, right? So, we could wait. We could be patient, get the last couple stars, and then go do it legit. But maybe I'll just crawl in there for funsies.
This path seems like it's kind of out of the way. Just maybe finding one of the lost puzzles over here. Or if nothing else, a glowy hand bit. Ooh. Or a steep drop. safe to just run around without looking where you're going, I guess. That looks like a puzzle of some description. What is it? An official numbered one? Here's it is not. It's one of the hidden ones. Should we should we do it right away? No, oh, fuck it. Let's do it right away. Without learning about the new thing they're introducing in this area, let's do this puzzle. Uh, we got red, we got blue. Looks pretty straightforward here, huh? What's that gonna do? It's gonna open that one. Oh, I see. It's an alternator, too, so I imagine... Oh. Uh... Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. I didn't see that uh, gate moving up and down like that. So, I'm just going to do this. I guess, right? No? Oh, I see. Because then we can do probably that. Or maybe not. that opens that. I guess I need to do it the opposite way, right? I need to move this, like, over this way. Oops. And then move this one to, like, right here. So then that does that, and then that cuts off. Oh. Don't! <laughs> Right, okay. I, I just need to move this over here. And then when that gets cut off... Oh no, it doesn't do that yet either. Okay, let me think about that, uh... Otter second here. this, like, uh, maybe I just kind of put it back here? No. Maybe I do need to do it like this. No, I need to do it such that... this, but then it needs to cut off the beam. How the hell am I going to do this? Maybe I need to do it like this instead. No, because it's going to do the same thing, right? I'm just going to turn that off. Oh, I think I see. I need to do this such that uh, probably connect this up, right? Be like, hey, now it's doing this. Oh, except I need to have it not be connected up to the mains, I think. Alright, 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 alright. Jeez. <laughs> uh, this needs to probably go over here, then. I can do... Bonk. Bonk? Yeah, like, sort of like that? Is that what it does, I guess? Yeah. So now that's open, then once it goes back up, cuts off the blue, so then the red can take over. And hey, here we go. Okay. I had to think about it. Just had to think about it a little bit. Um, 
what they were doing, the Noema Project. Noema Project. Yeah, we know about that, right? They just called it the machine. Because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. A machine? It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. Yeah, how about that? Do a quick scan of the skies here to make sure we're not missing any little hidden laser bits. Although, since this is one of the lost puzzles, it's probably not involved anyways. Is it? Is it, is it? That's what we've learned through all the previous uh, 11 sections, right? Usually the lost ones aren't involved in the uh, in the stars, right? Machines all the way down. That's right. That's right, isn't it? That was all the philosophical ramble we've been hearing up to this point. It's like, what if this was a machine? What if this was a machine? Well, isn't society just another machine? It's like, yeah, okay, we get it. You like machines. Isn't the universe a machine? Ugh. Yeah, of course machines would think everything is machines. Like, isn't that kind of tautological? Um, I guess we're done here, huh? I was thinking that there might have been another thing down here, but maybe not. So that didn't have any other, like, new bits to it besides the gate that was moving up and down. So that might be what we're going to learn about in Puzzle 1 here. Once we get back to it. for any, like, switches and shit. So if, we, if it turns out the second star here is a, a Sphinx one, we'll be needing to do a few switches. Hmm, what's this over here? Oh, okay. More strat and stuff. I see these beings. These children of a future age, wandering around an island more fantastical than... Wandering? Atlantis. I'm doing more than wandering, I'm solving puzzles, man. Looking desperately to find themselves. I reach out, but they cannot see me. I speak to them, but I do not know if they can hear me. I'm hearing you right now, Stratton. Uh. Am I being punished? <laughs> Are the gods playing some cruel trick on me? Why can I remember so little? What is this sorrowful <laughs> That's a bit I of a mood. <laughs> Why can I remember so little? Oy. I must use what remains of my mind. I must understand. Okay. Now we've made the circuit around pretty much everything here. Most of the stuff is in the interior. Skyrim horse our way up there. Sort of. Sort of let us do that for a bit before it got sick of us being up here. Oh, oh, careful. There we go. See? No problem. Oh, now I've done it. There. <laughs> wow! Ah! Oh. Okay. This probably doesn't want me up there then. Oh, well, maybe we can get up there, actually, because there's a little a little puzzle Skippy Spark thing. I don't want it. I don't need it. Oh, it's uh, one of the... Ah, here. Just climb all the way up there. I think. Eh. Oh! Oh! Ow. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Alright, No, I just... <sighs> 
I did space space and it didn't disengage me. Oh, oh, I see. We have to be very specifically aligned for it. Yoink. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Well, it's a, a neat place to put that for sure. second lost puzzle here. <laughs> this seems very out of the way, but also very puzzle-like, doesn't it? Yeah, hey, look at that. <laughs> look at that! A hexahedral stack, and we got some little switch there, laser bits, a box. Another box. red laser bit. There's the thing over there. Is that going to be gated by a red connector? No, we just need to get a box through here. Okay. Um, I think I get what it wants here. I think we're going to want this. I want both of them, I think. Because I'm going to want to go... Actually, how the heck am I going to do this? I think I see. Alright, let me, let me go about this, right? I need to stack this up in such a way that um, we need to get it to block off this one when we take the box down. Right? That's what I'm getting out of this. So, Yoinkarooski, there we go. And hey, look at that. That one was pretty easy. <laughs> pretty easy. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh yeah, there's water, but there's no, like, bare-ass electrical wires around here, so I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Another case where, like, this would be very easy to pop a laser outside this place, but I don't think there's anything in range. Got red and blue from both the hidden bits. Both the hidden puzzles. That's alright. See, I th we did the, the two hardest ones, well, presumably the two hardest ones first, right? Figured the, the off-the-path ones are the most difficult, but... Doesn't seem that way for this section, at least. Those are both pretty easy. I'm very suspicious that we'll have to do a, a laser star thing here. There's a lot of possibilities for laser relay points around here. Maybe they'll be cheeky and put something in an eyeball or something. Mm, not this time, okay. Mm, reading. My favorite. <clears throat> Jurassic Justice. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna ask me anything with Alexander Drennan. Uh, impossible not to love any character played by Jeff Goldblum. Hey, there we go. Agree, hard agree, hard agree. Ian Malcolm gets some of the best lines, also hard agree. So the main reason he became a in-joke is he's memorable and funny. I want to talk about what he represents on a more serious level, though. I say that I personally think he's wrong. Well, yeah, I mean, he's kind of a dipshit. Character-wise, he's kind of a dipshit, but fucking Jeff Goldblum is great at playing him, so whatever. <clears throat> he's wrong, neurotic fear that things will always go wrong, that we can never really have control over what we do is misplaced. Well, I mean... Uh, there's a legitimate critique of how the park operates of science being subjected to the pursuit of profit, so obviously Jurassic Park, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean it can't be done differently. True. 
uh, spared no expense after all. And if you'll excuse me for going with full nerd here for a moment, my tree bringing back the non-avian dinosaurs is some kind of transgression. The extinction of these magnificent creatures was some sort of intentional step forward. It was just a random catastrophe. Yeah, I mean, that's what mutation and evolution sometimes is, it's random. In strike a blow at the oblivious cruelty of the universe, it's an act of human justice. It's no less wrong than bringing back species who've accidentally driven to extinction. I mean, sure, sure. Uh, horrible things happen all the time. Evolution favors survival, not beauty. Function over form, etc. If we can make the universe more beautiful, if we can add to biodiversity and bring back things that were lost, we absolutely should. How many of us one day would terraform a planet populated with dinosaurs? But this time we get to give we give them an asteroid defense system. Yeah, okay. All right, interesting take. Can agree with the Jeff Goldblum stuff, that's for sure. Maybe the rest of it, maybe not so much. Uh, blah 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 blah. Expansion just means more evil in all this. Remark that the materialist, like the madman, is in prison, a prison of one thought. People seem to think it's singularly inspiring to keep on saying that the prison was very large. The size of this scientific universe gave one no novelty, no relief. The cosmos went on forever, but not in its wildest constellation could there be anything really interesting. Anything, for instance, such as forgiveness or free will. Blah, 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 blah. So these expanders of the universe had done no had nothing to show us except more and more infinite quarters of space lit by ghastly suns and empty of all that is divine. Okay. Has no imagination, I agree with that. Problem is that he's not interested in the universe, and, and uh, so not only does he fail to see, he fails to even look. He finds what he expected to find. Hey, self-fulfilling, etc. Hey, so Miss is not only the grandeur of the universe, but the miracle is magnified by contrast. That forgiveness and free will do exist within people. Yeah, mostly agree. Miracles came upon Atlas, the Titan had grown old and tired. Oh, big mood there. Born the way to the celestial spheres for a billion years. All the comings and goings of mortals, the tragedies of chance, the pointless wars have left me weak. Soon I'll falter, and the celestial spheres will fall and shatter. You must take my place. Heracles ain't got to do shit, Jack. Um, I'm young and strong and virile. <laughs> Many women yet to bed. Many wondrous feats yet to perform. What a waste it would be to spend my life holding up the world instead, and yet it must be done. So what choice do I have? Uh, sad by the imminent loss of his heroic life. Wait, what did Heracles do that was so heroic? Seems a bit presumptuous. I uh, went for one last swip, swim in the Ionian Sea, then on storied Ithaca, you met a clever old man of many devices. The answer you seek, son of Zeus, does not lie within you, rather it lies in the world around you and in what you can make of it. And so Heracles used his divine strength to build two great pillars of stone, which even today hold up the sky, and Atlas is liberated forever. Uh, to be truly strong, though, you should make three pillars. Like, two pillars, as soon as the fucking center of gravity shifts there, that shit's coming down. Three pillars, you're pretty safe. Four would be even better. Kind of copped out at two, is what I'm saying. <clears throat> ah, there's the other, uh, other star thing. And, yeah, surprise, surprise, it's a sphinx. Okay, well, let's see what we need to be looking out for. Get a map or a picture or something. Uh, if we can even get up there. Mm, not from this side, it seems. Unless we have to walk all the way the fuck around there. It should be kind of silly. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, I guess we can get over on that side. Don't think they'll let me Skyrim horse up this big old stone slash bronze slash copper. It looks like it's greening. Does bronze get all green when it sort of oxidizes like copper does? I guess co bronze is part copper, right? So I guess that would track. So like, what is bronze? Like copper and tin? So that would track. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Get up here. Up on this side. Okay, here we go. Ah, yeah, see, look. Switches, or in this case, a single ass switch. By the reachy hands. At the base of the reachy hands. Yeah, Atlas really got the short end, didn't he? A billion fucking years. And uh, he could have been saved by like, I don't know what, two and a half millennia of human engineering, right? So that's a big ass waste of time. Hopefully he was hourly. 
Because if not, he really got screwed. Okay, the Reachy Hands. We've seen the Reachy Hands. Yep, they're over there. Okay. Well, that's, uh... That's easy enough. We need to concern ourselves much with that one. And I guess we're down to normal puzzles. The, uh... Prometheus Star thing, which is just a... A hide-and-seek thing, which is easy. And then whatever the rest of these glowy hand bits are going to be. Oh, and the lab, I suppose. We've got a couple things we can look at. In the simulation, I found myself thinking how hard it must have been for Alexandra to die without knowing if her sacrifices were worth it. Mm. It seemed like a yeah. tragic end to an inspiring, meaningful yeah, life. I suppose. But now I realize her whole life must have been a struggle. Mm. To maintain that faith in humanity when so many people around her insisted that humans are evil, worthless, when they were so lost in self-hatred that they would call their own species a virus. Yeah. How did she do it? <laughs> How did she maintain her faith? Oof. When they were so determined to hate themselves. That's a good ass so question. Determined to reject every solution, every analysis, every step towards controlling the forces that were causing their problems, when they rejected even the concept of progress itself, and then mm. patted themselves on the back for it as if that <laughs> was original. <laughs> when I look at the archives now, mm. all I can see is that their leaders were short sighted idiots and their intellectuals were unimaginative cowards. Oh, hot damn. All they Athena. could offer people was a downward trend. Spit hot fewer fire rights, here. Fewer freedoms, fewer resources for anything that mattered. They must have hated Alexandra and everything she stood for. Mm. So how? How did she have so much faith? I don't know if it was faith necessarily. But I can definitely understand that a little bit at least. Hey Richard Digbeck, how you doing? Um, philosophically dense as it seems to be. Yeah, kind of. We just sort of ignore most of it, though, because we're here to solve puzzles and not, like, debate the existence of humanity. Or at least that's not what I'm here for, at any rate. Uh, the end of Trevor. Oh, no. Goof-ass Trevor. Uh, people like Trevor, those are people who make the future happen. People with silly names like Trev who aren't famous, who aren't geniuses, who aren't driven by a powerful vision. Ordinary people whose work and sacrifice isn't even acknowledged or remembered. Aw, oh, damn it. Makes me feel for Trevor a little bit there. Uh, fine. Right now, I used to go to the hills above the dam and observe the stars and the telescopes. When I saw stars like that, I felt such awe. I wished I had the ability to cry. Don't wonder, but also felt recognition. And seeing my home, Sea of Star, hey, Sea of Stars, title drop, <clears throat> is where we came from. It's where we must return. So much hope then. I knew one day we would set sail. We would fly through the clouds of the nebula. And would cruise across planets where it rains diamonds. We'd follow the fading light of distant supernovas until at last we met our brothers and sisters. Cosmos. I could feel that day coming. Can't anymore. I don't know how to live this way. Oh, man. Triclinius. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Cerebi. We were Cerebi for nearly a century. We'll not pretend that all the days were good. Some were terrible. She was opinionated. <laughs> she could be difficult. She could be unfair. And so could I. Sometimes we hurt each other, though we rarely meant to. Most days were good, and some days were great. Great day of Cerebi made you feel different, made you feel like something had been revealed to you about the nature of the universe itself, some innate goodness uh, at the heart of all things, yada yada yada. Like Nadia Cerebi, whose name she adopted, she believed in the existence of something sublime beyond the material world, hope she was right, hope she's still somewhere, hope she's not trapped in that broken body I tried so hard to repair. <clears throat> I was advised to let her go to get over my attachment, I tried, but it was the wrong advice. Love is what makes us human, and we should count ourselves blessed that we can experience it. Attachment is what kept me sane, what anchored me to this world, even in death, she saved my life. I am grateful for the days that we got, but no amount of days would have been enough. Love is not finite, and it is for infinity that we must strive. I will do so for all of you who may still find love and honor, sir, by my face. Yet. Aww. If I had been more careful, New Alexandria would never have happened, sir, by would still be alive. Oh boy. Learning more about that New Alexandria. Alright, one more voice clip from Goof Ass Trevor here. Everybody's Let's hear it. Oh, me and Alex. bummer start, she's Trevor. upstairs somewhere. Haven't talked to her in days. The only reason why I know she's still alive is uh, she's submitting bug fixes. <laughs> Hell yeah. I bug still fixes. have a lot to do myself. I've almost got the 
<coughs> the tertiary backup thing working. This is the one that's really gonna last if everything else breaks. Hmm. And you know what? I don't know if I'd trust Trevor to do that, but hey, you know. MLA still giving me all these hiccups, but I don't know. I'm not a software guy. <laughs> all the software guys? Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was afraid of. God, these, <laughs> these time capsules went a bit sideways, didn't they? I was gonna tell you all about myself, John Carpenter, and all that stuff, but... I mean... Mostly, I just told you about Alex. We got one about John Carpenter. I guess, right? I wonder if I should just... I, I, I should just tell her. You know? Just... Tell her. Just, just tell her. <laughs> Maybe later. I gotta finish this first. Hmm. God damn it, Trevor. Ah, well. Alright, from within. Uh, laser bits. We got a jammer. Which we will use presently for that. Grab the laser bit out of there. Uh, thing is here. Hmm, I see. Alright, uh, can we... Can I target this and then pick it up? No, I don't want to. I don't want to target. I want to target the laser bit. Ugh. I want to target the thing behind it. Do I? Oh, actually, I probably kind of want to. Yeah, because that's gonna. All right. All right. Hold. Hold, please. Stop. <laughs> I know what I should probably be doing here. I should do that. Because then I can do... Oh, actually. Uh... How am I going to do this? I'm actually not sure. Um... But I want to do that, right? Ah, but I also don't know if I'm going to be able to do it like, like that, am I? Oh, can I, um... Hold on a second. Can I just jam the fans? Is that a thing I can do? I sort of is, but I can only jam one, so uh, hopefully that's enough. Just the bottom one? No, of course not. Big ass wind tunnel here. Of course that's not gonna work. Okay. Um, all right, can we do it like this then? Can I just target that some bitch? No, it doesn't let me do that. can't reach through, can I? Because I need to be able to turn this off when I'm behind the wall. Or turn it on when I'm behind the wall, rather. <clears throat> and uh, Trevor's Cornelius and Athena is Alexandria. They got another shot as robots. <laughs> uh, I, I could sort of see that, although I don't know. I don't know if I would give Trevor Cornelius. Like, Cornelius is too much of like a like a smart guy. <laughs> Not to put too fine a point on it, but he's too much of a smart guy to be a Trevor, I think. Um, shit, what do I do here? Oh, I think I know. I just need to be like, oh no, because then that's not gonna. That's not gonna go, because it's not gonna be on. So wait, what does that actually turn on, though, besides the fans? Oh, that opens the gate there. That's the deal. Hmm. Hmm. I could take the jammer out that little back area, though. Uh, but I don't think that's helping me. Because <clears throat> I need to be back behind there. Uh... I need to get back behind there, and this, then this needs to turn on. So that the gate opens and I can go back. Think about this for a hot second more here. Because I can't... I can only target the thing there, right? I can't target the little laser bit. 
can't target the laser source. I can target the two fan bits, but that doesn't really do anything. I'm curious, if I drop this... No, that's not gonna work. <clears throat> I think it has something to do with uh, jamming this thing here. I don't know what exactly just yet. Okay, I would have to do this. And I can't just pick that up like that. I can't body block the jammer. What's the name of this one again? From the... Yeah. As soon as I do that, it gets me out of there. Okay. What if I do take this out? What then? What then? What can I do with it if I take it out here? I think it's just this the only thing that can be jammed. I mean, aside from the two fans, but I've already discovered that done do shit. That done do shit, I think, I guess, right? <clears throat> yeah, because I can only block one. And even then, it doesn't go all the way there. Alright, let me get this back behind. Back behind here, Jim. The only thing I can target from there. So the only other thing I've got here is like this, and I need to fucking yeah, I can't do that. This is what I need. I need to be here. But I don't think I can target this. Actually, wait, am I an idiot? Don't answer that. But I think I'm an idiot. Let's do it like this. Set it up like this. Right? And this way I've got it targeted. I can do that. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> Missing a step in the middle. The scale of it all is there we go. Breathtaking. It really is. But is it a human scale? Is it so enormous that it can only oh, listen to the, listen to Mayor Herman here trying to be all fucking profound and shit. Small town paranoia, isolationism, and peasant mentality. Holy shit, Melville. Uh, oh man, I'm sure Melville didn't mean to broadcast that over like general chat, but I'm I'm, I'm with him. <laughs> I'm with them anyways. Uh, okay, well that one took longer than it needed to, but um, you know what? You're right. Maybe, maybe she did. Maybe, like hell yeah. Like I'm, I'm totally behind Melville if, if she's got the, she's got the clout and the authority to just tell shit the way it is like that and not, not get blowback for it or whatever, right? Like 100%. I'm, I'm into that. All of them are these little circular bits, huh? I think I went the wrong direction. Probably a shorter way to get to the entrance that was like over here. Yeah, oops. Oh well. Alright. Chicken flight. Got some red laser bits. Fan, what which gets us over there.
Oh, that needs a box, I think. Then that's not up and running, is it? Oh, we've got another laser bit here, too. Hmm. That's probably just gonna... Shuffle us out and around. Wait a minute, what is this supposed to... Oh, I see, there's a second one behind there, okay. Let's just do this temporarily. Okay, leads us back here to a button. A lot of hidden stuff? Uh, reasonably so, yeah. They've been good enough, at least in this iteration, to tell you that there's hidden stuff. <laughs> like, the, the, the major important bits, like the extra puzzles and stuff, has been pretty well outlined. Like, it says there's two, two puzzles that aren't on the map for each little section, and then there's the stars that you kind of wander around and find. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of extremely obscure things, which is good. Um, all right, I need to put something on that button. Alternatively, uh... Okay. I'm gonna set this down, like, right here, I guess? And then we're gonna go- oh, wait. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna need this, I guess. Oh wait, hold on a second. I need that other one. I need that other one first. So I'm gonna need that to hold that one. I'm gonna put it like right here, I guess. And we're gonna grab this one and go like flip, flop. Uh, oh, I dropped it there, so it didn't do shit. Okay. Huh. If I want it, like, over here. Oh, I see. There's a thing over there. Uh... Hold, please. Pop that there. Grab this. <clears throat> Do that, I guess? So what does that do? That just keeps the fan blowing, right? Which... I don't know if that does anything for me. I take this away. Oh, jeez. Okay. Once I take that away, the fan's gonna stop blowing anyways, right? Yeah. that back so I can think about this a little bit more. Hmm. So if I just set this here, it just kind of goes... enough to Oh, 
Oh, wait, no. Because I want this to be the red source, I think. <clears throat> so that when I yoink it... When I yoink it when I'm behind here, it turns off the fan and I can move on. Yeah, okay. I think I've got it. Uh, do like this. And then be like... Uh, let's put that here, I suppose. You ink that from here. Ah, uh, but then what? How am I gonna do that? Because I would need to somehow... Hmm, how is that gonna work? I feel like I'm missing a box so that we can send it over <clears throat> without it being a problem, but mm, maybe not either. Okay. Turn that on again. Oops, I need that one back here. able to shut the laser off to this thing once I'm back behind there. How do I do that? Take this with me and go like that. And, uh, maybe not that. Maybe I need to do this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Set it like right here. Sort of. Sort of like that. I'll hang on to that. Do that. <clears throat> Do like this. In the hopes that that was gonna <laughs> do some sort of disruption or whatever, but it's not gonna because I'm not really getting it. go about it, but... Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not it. Fun to try, though. Hmm. Is there not another piece behind here? No. I can't Yoink one of the fans, right? These are both permanent. Yep. Oh, I think I know, actually. Um, I think I've got this. So I need to do this. Um, but just connect this up. Put that there. 
Then, uh, yeah, I need to, oh, well, how's that gonna work, though? Shit. Thought I had it, then I lost it. Okay. I need to go like this, I think. Then I can open that up. And then I need to go boink, boink, boink. Turn that on, move that over. There we go. Easy. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Okay. Six more to go. I assume that's probably going to be the lab off that direction. Usually they've been pretty good about slapping question marks on my little compass thing for places I should go visit. I assume that other one is the lab. So we got to remember to check out the little reaching hands once we get over there. Alright, precision. Accuracy and precision. Uh, blue laser bits. A fan. Various other things. It's gonna need to go there, I imagine, right? Let me move over there. To get that thing there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just like that! Okay! Very good. Oh, Herman, stop it. Very much like her. <laughs> Inquisitive, intelligent, and dedicated. But remember, yeah, full intelligence package. by itself has little value unless it is ethically applied. Mm -hmm. And what would you know about ethically applying intelligence, Herman? Um, are we close to the reaching hands? I feel like we... Oh, no, it's all the way the over there. So that's closer to, like, puzzle. Really don't need to worry about it for one off. And I think the other one. Oh no, that was the Sphinx one up there. And the other one was. I don't know, somewhere. Prometheus bit chase down thing, so. No issue getting that, I'm sure. Well, relatively little issue getting that one. Did that go the wrong way again? Yeah, of course. Uh, duality. Ah, the duality of man. Um, blue laser, a couple laser bits, blue source. out the buttons on this one. I pick it up. Pick it up, keep connections. Uh, disconnect from blue source, I guess, right? How do I do that? Pick it up, keep connections, deselect, bonk, bonk, right? Okay. 
Ha <laughs> Oh, and I had it. I was dumb. Okay. Almost certainly not a timing thing. Because usually when it's a timing thing, I've, I've done the wrong thing. Um, actually, here. Why don't we do this instead? Let's do... Get this set up such, right? And then we do... Disconnect it from there, right? Because what's the... Well, what source is that supposed to be? Oh. It's not. They're canceling each other out. that way, and it does that, right? If I do it the other way... Can I not set this up such that it uses that one first? No. That one doesn't take priority because it's just a, a basic bitch laser thing and not an actual laser source like the blue one is. Now I need to kind of work this in reverse, though. I feel like this needs to be a source of blue to that one, and that one only. So then when I get back behind there, I turn it off and feed it red. Yeah, like that. There we go. Not so bad. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh, jeez. Melville, sorry. Didn't see you there. Woo, spooky. All right, yeah, what's up? Are we, though? I mean, yes. But, but now that hey, <laughs> I'm afraid they're going to take this and turn it into a reason to bury their head in the sand. Yeah, that's probably a reasonable assumption. Yes, Byron was rash. Uh huh. He wanted to find Athena so badly that it made him blind. Uh huh. But the thing is, he was right. He was completely and utterly right. Wait, let's not go too far here. Could mean to what, is it, what was he right about? I that? Uh, first, I don't know about now, that. It couldn't be more clear to me. The theory of everything is the future. And if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. Uh... Was the original question the theory of everything is the future? Um, probably right, but I have my reservations. I get it. Do you? I do. Okay. I'm not blind to the dangers, but all we do anymore is think about the worst case scenario. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. Uh -huh. I talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future but, we've been offered. But Melville, you a were the one keeping all of this afloat for untold years, game, right? And we accept it because because we're ashamed of ourselves. Not of something we've done, but just of our existence. <laughs> like we're a virus on this planet. Like our humanity <laughs> is a sin. I'm so <laughs> one K. Melville. Oh, I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. Yeah. But that's all I ever did. I never improved anything. 
I never built anything new. When I imagine going on like this for Oof. thousands of years, that is kind of rough, that's though. That's a fate worse than death. Mm. It really is. We either live and grow and expand boldly and proudly, or, or we might as well switch ourselves off. <laughs> All right, hold on a second, Melville. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Uh, something, something. Uh, where was it? Where's the thing I wanted to comment on but didn't want to interrupt? Um. Uh, because we're ashamed of ourselves, not of something we've done. Blah blah blah. Like we're a virus on a planet, on this planet. Like our humanity is a sin. Melville. Let me tell you a little something about the humanity that begat you. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to because I don't want to be ultra depressed. Uh, we'll find a way. We better, because I don't think I can handle the alternative. Jesus, Melville, fucking. Although engineer to engineer, I fucking understand, right? You're, when you're fixing shit that's busted all the time instead of doing exciting shit sometimes, yeah, that's that's depressing. Like, sometimes fixing shit is awesome and cool. Hey, we made it work again. Great. But sometimes it's just like, God damn. <laughs> oh, Velvo, come on. You were supposed to be the optimist of this group. Actually, no, that's not true. Who was the optimist of this group? Wasn't us. Wasn't Melville. Wasn't Alcatraz. Maybe it was Yakut? Maybe it was Yakut. Um, all right. By oh, you think Byron was the optimist? He got. Oh, I guess he was. He was the excitable sort. I don't know if I'd call that optimism. All right. Was there another? Uh... Okay. The other question mark is way the fuck over there. I hope that's not the lab we need to get back to. But if it is, we'll have to walk our robo legs over there. Yeah, see, Yakut I, I, Yakut I can agree with, like 100%. Maybe not 100%, like 95%. See, he's, uh, he's more realistic than Byron. Although that's not a, a, a high bar to clear. Uh, rerouting. Puzzle 5. Um, okay. We got red laser bit over here, red source over there. Uh, okay, and two laser bits to deal with here. So there we go, that's that. Um, probably gonna pull this out here. Way the fuck out here so that we can do... Possibly this, I guess, right? There, keep that. Oh, wait. Uh... Pull that a little bit further here. And then hook that up to there. Okay, is that gonna stay? If I yoink this, is that gonna stay? Probably not, yeah. Oh, no, it did. Okay. Oh, careful. Okay, there we go. Oh man, we're gonna have to leapfrog this again, huh? Okay. Um, well, that should be pretty easy because we've got direct source to it there, but we're gonna have to do it like around the bend. Oh, that's gross. Uh, we kind of back that up a little further. <clears throat> and then yoink this. Woo! Magic. Okay, uh... Well, then what, though? Get it all the way the fuck over here? I don't think we're gonna get it all the way the fuck over there. Mm. Alright, let me yoink that just straight away. Uh, like that? And then yoink. Oh no, 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 no. Because I need to, I need to connect that up too. 
Uh, oops, no. I need to pull this, that, that, and I think just that, right? Like that. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, but we got the idea. We got the idea. Alright. We got the idea of it, I think. Um, we just need to position things a bit better. Okay. <laughs> ah. Um, well, is that still gonna work okay if I just yoink this here and let it do its thing, maybe? No. Or maybe I just kind of keep doing this. Like, leapfrog it here. Uh, let me just yoink and reset that one. Maybe that'll work. No. Then I need to connect it up. Oh, what the hell? No. Ah. Um, well... Right, yeah, okay. No, I'm gonna have to yoink this back. And probably yoink this all the way over here. Maybe to here immediately? No. So what was the deal? <clears throat> How did I get this around this corner? Am I... Am I stupid? No, because that was fine there. Because now we've got a permanent connection. Right, I needed it to stay like in range of that one. Otherwise, it all falls apart. There we go. Same deal here, I think, right? Uh, yeah, because we do this, it's not going to block everything, right? Yeah, but now if I yoink this, is it going to be just immediate walls come tumbling down? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, but there's another... Oh, I'm an idiot. I need to target it through here, I think. Oh, no, I can't, because it's not open. <sighs> Alright. That first, right? So then we know we can do bonk, bonk, bonk. About right here. Easy. Okay. And then what? I think we uh, just need to kind of surround it a bit. Although I don't know that I've got the... Uh, I've got a shit angle on this, don't I? Yeah, fuck me. Okay, I need to move this, like, probably slightly over. Yeah. This one back to like about right there where it was before. And we'll yoink that. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Be it like right here. Just, oh, maybe not. Because uh, I need to be in range of it, right? Yeah, like that. And then that should give me. Gosh, that's a dumb angle. We're going to move this a little bit further over here. There. Okay. And then we can do bonk, bonk. Like, oh, well, that's not gonna do it. As soon as we do that, it's gonna fucking. Well, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Let's see. No. Oh, careful. 
I need it to be like right here. No. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. We're going to do this first. Open that. Right? But then what? But then what? But then what? Uh, uh, I need to get that, like, flat against the thing. Well, I need to move it over. <laughs> I need to move it, move it over to the left, like, about dead center of this. That might give us enough space to do this. So let me move that. Can I move this in such a fashion that it's going to be okay? Feeling we just don't have the angle on it. Ah. Interesting. So I can, like, very, very quickly do it. Ah, not that way, though. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Okay. Alright, I think, I think I got it. I think I got this. It's just a matter of positioning. Right about there's these. Yeah, works. And then I need to put this and this and be like, like right about here maybe? And maybe position this such that we just do it like this. That might be the thing. And oh man, yeah, connect to that too. And like right here? I don't know, it needs to go back a little bit. Maybe a little bit forward. A little bit more. A little bit less. Okay, that's about as good as we're gonna get that. And I can yoink this one. And now, as soon as I open it from here, then we can yoink that specifically, and now we've got open season on this one. Yes, this is good. Um, now, <laughs> now, however, what can we do? Can we get it all the way over here? No, we need to set this up one more time. Uh, Alright, hold on a second. Can we get this such that... Honk, honk, bonk? Like this? Because now if we yoink it, it should be fine, right? Damn it, fuck, shit, damn. Nope, okay. All right, all right. Speed of light and all that, I guess. Okay, that's held open there. Can hold this open here. But I also need it to be like... That that, right? No, let's just do that for now. Um, shit, no, because I think I need to move this back. I need to move this back this way while it's being held open, but I can't do that because that fucking thing is the lifeline there. Ah, oh, the single point of failure. I hate it. I'm a terrible network engineer. Um, okay. Hmm. I need to wiggle these around the corner. Have a think about it. Alright. We know that that's still held open, right? Can we, like, do this? Like that, without it petering out? I think we've got it there. Let's just move 
this back a touch. Like that. Okay, now I think if we yoink it, it's probably going to collapse in that. No! Oh! Curious. Alright. Um... What does that get me, though? <laughs> Fat lot. Of, oh, it gets me just enough angle on this, I think. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Hmm. You know, I'm a little 80-20 on that one. A little 80-20. Okay. Have you found any signs of Cornelius? Could he have returned to the island? Hmm. Nothing so far. But he knows this place better than any of us, and we have no idea what he's up to. No idea what he's up to. Now, if he's the one responsible for building all this shit, you know, secondhand, I guess, kinda. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Like if it was, if it was just Athena, Cornelius, and for like half of it, Miranda. He has three Robo humans out here. If they build all this shit. That's pretty good. My goodness. Pretty good. Um, all right, what are we up to? Number six. All right, I'm gonna be a smart man and take the left hand side this time. A phase off. All right, number six mobile instruments, huh? Uh, oh, got a switch, which is a fan. Blue lasers and shit. Oh, we got a box over there, okay. Yoinkaruski. Probably gonna want that there. Do that. That up there. Is that high enough to get that? No, sure as fuck isn't. Cool. All right. Really just got that. That's the, that's the only one we got. And that's all we got is a box, a laser bit, and uh, do I have a sister that also streams? Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. If my my sister streamed, that would be news to me. Um, also, how you doing? Have a bond. Good to see you. Oh boy. Okay. No relation to Blink Blink games. No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what what is, what is the whole bit about humanity that it's like we're all like eight or nine times removed from each other or whatever that figure was, right? So I mean, loosely yes, sure, <laughs> but probably not in the common understanding. No. Um. Shit. Okay. So what do we have then? We've got blue laser, right? Blue laser, and oh, I see. Okay. But then, what's the deal with the box? What can we do with the box? Because we can't. Hmm. Any doppelgangers, huh? Okay. So you're saying we we bear some sort of physical resemblance, huh? Which you know I. I, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I don't think I appear to be particularly unique physically, so it wouldn't be wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Interesting though. I might have to just take a peek just for out of curiosity, you know. Fuck. So all I've got is a single blue laser, a fan, and a laser bit. That's it, huh? Doesn't even get me. All right, hold on a second. You know what? We're gonna jump up there. Yeah, that didn't get shit. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, a platform. A platform. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got it. <laughs> I get it. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Um... Actually, what are we gonna do? these connected up Get these connected up uh, to like right there but then uh, 
Oh, I think I see. All right, hold on a second. We're going to do that. And we're going to put this up here. And I'm going to grab this. Can I... Okay, I can turn that on and then go yoink. And presumably I've got the box on my head with the laser. Yep. And do that. Move this over here. And can I just drop this here? There we go. Perfect. I hate solving puzzles myself, but <laughs> watching you solve them is kind of fun. <laughs> oh, Yakut. You know, points for honesty from Yakut there, for sure. Points for honesty. Um, okay, I think it's just seven and eight then. You know, I think Yakut would probably be a lurker. Yakut would definitely be a lurker on, on a on a Twitch stream, that's for sure. Or he would be like one of the probably rare folk that uh, you know pop into chat every now and again and be like, hey yeah, you're doing a great job. And I'd be like, ah, oh, thanks, Yakut. Maybe not rare. Maybe rare is uh, is the wrong qualifier. Unusual. Non-standard. Not common, perhaps. Not quite rare, but not common. Um, I was headed to seven, right? Or was this seven? Oh, right, there's a bunch of social media crap here we gotta do, too. <clears throat> Looks like a lot of people are getting excited about how things are gonna change, but all I can see is another repetition of the same mistakes. Eek aside, hubris. Hubris is a fun word. Self-destruction, why would anything be different this time? I don't know, why is anything ever different? All we can do is give it our best shot. You have to hope, even if it's not rational. Don't necessarily agree with that. Maybe it won't be, but so what? Life goes on. Okay, kind of giving up on that one. Uh, we need, we just need to get it right once and the cycle will be broken. Okay, okay. You're right, I'm beginning to fear we're taking the wrong path after all. No. All right, so no, no, uh, sort of, yeah, no. And you know what? Let's do the pragmatic answer. Need to get it right just once to break the cycle. Break that fucking time loop, baby! Hmm. I don't like the comparison to Byron here. I didn't sign up for that, but the rest is pretty good. Anything okay for recovering all of Trevor's recordings? Oh yeah, totally intentional. It's clear they meant a lot to Athena, and they should mean a lot to us, too. It's as much our progenitor as Alexander Drennan was, we should not forget him. It's all a love story in the end, all human history. Even when people die or never even have the chance, yada yada yada, love is the only thing that survives. Without the love Trevor felt for Alexandra, without the love Alexandra felt for us, none of us would be here, and nothing would matter. Oh, another, another rare thank you. All right. <clears throat> as tragic as the story is, it gives me hope, and who knows, perhaps she loved him, too, or could have. All right. Short thread. Theory of everything. Stilton number 22. Yeah, he has been around for a while, hasn't he? Uh, he's been around for a long time. If I'd been born a bit earlier, I'd be a first companion. So I've seen the ups and downs of a city. All in recent years, I've kept to myself, and I'd like to pose a question. Don't have an answer in mind. <laughs> I'd really like to hear what everyone thinks. Addition for opinions, I guess. Okay, uh, I have no doubt that the theory of everything would change our lives. Do you think that perhaps we're better off not knowing? Uh... Hmm. That perhaps having all the answers would just make the universe boring? Well, see, you find one answer, and then you find a new question. That's really how it goes. And if you get bored, like, that's that's on you. Uh, the ancient writers showed that knowledge can lead to cynicism. <laughs> knowledge doesn't necessarily lead to cynicism. I don't agree with that. Um, we must maintain the sense of wonder of a child. Oh. Theory of everything wouldn't be the end of our journey. Only be the next step. It would equip us to ask the next set of questions. There you go. Shmulev's got it. How to explore new possibilities and to discover and create new wonders. To believe that the universe can be understood or described in objective terms is pure scientism. <clears throat> nothing exists. Even if something exists, nothing can really be known about it. And even if something can somehow be known about it, information about it can't be communicated. And even if it could be communicated, it would not be understood. Okay, Bellamarsh, that's a lot of words to say absolutely nothing. Uh, truth can be harsh. It's possible that the theory of everything would reveal facts that we'd find hard to deal with. That doesn't mean we should not confront those facts and our own ethical responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm into it. Um, okay. Uh, I sort of agree with Mel Duke. 
I do agree with Shmilov. I don't agree with Belmarsh. But I do agree with Atel. And they only give me one choice. It can't be like, oh yeah, I, I find this bit very agreeable, and I find this bit very disagreeable. No, no, we gotta pick a side, apparently. Pick a side in Warlords. Um... I'm with the tell the most, I think. Hell yeah, see? There's another fucking thank you rolling our way after what? How long have we been doing this? What, like 26 hours or so? Here's a thank you rolling our way from Stilton. Well, that's about damn time. I mean, you're welcome, Stilton. Um, there's all this hard work, solving all these puzzles is quite a gargantuan. All right, let's not oversell it. It's not a gargantuan endeavor. I mean, it has taken some work, but it's not gargantuan. Like, come on. Um, based on something in the description, blah, 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 blah. I think the gold puzzles are meant to open when every other puzzle has been solved. Yeah, Melville, we're way ahead of you. <laughs> and solving them will lead to something. Uh, the simulation tried to solve every puzzle instead of trying to define Elohim was actually negative. No idea if the same applies here. In any case, I suspect the puzzles won't open up until Byron's logged out. At the highest level of security and undoubtedly hide some importance. Yada 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 yada. Okay, yeah, we we were gonna do that anyways. Um, and I think the only other active one is this bit, right? The reachy hands, the switch at the reachy hands. All right, almost there. Two more, and then we can pursue the the stars and I guess find the lab. Oh, number seven is down there. Really give you jerk answers for every interaction and enable a bullshit post. <laughs> bullshit post would be interesting considering like how deeply philosophical they probably meant this to be, right? Uh, gateway switch is the name of this one. All right, so we got a jammer, a red bit, a blue bit. Um, and so oh, several, several laser bits here. Okay, well. Oh, we're gonna need to do that first, right? So we can unblock that. Uh, and then do. Try to get both of these? I don't know if this is gonna work. Gonna have the angle for all that? Uh, I guess so, okay. Alright, I've got the angle out of all that. And that's held open, and we don't have a ladder to climb out of this one, do we? But it doesn't matter. Right, because we can retarget the reds if we need to. What is that gonna. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I, I think I kind of realized what I have to do here. Ah. Uh, nuts. Okay, I need to get this jammer out of there. So we can do that, I think. By doing this, 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 this. Climb our robots out of here. Our robobots out of here. Uh, yoink this, jam that. Yoink. Oh. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Alright, what does that do? That opens the center gate there, huh? Okay. Ah. Ah, okay. Is that gonna connect to everything? Boy howdy, I hope it does. Oh no. It's not going to... We got this damn wall in the way! Uh, okay. Wait, oh wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> there. Like that? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's all connected up. Oh, I didn't need to climb. I could've just walked out. <laughs> ah, well. Um, alright. Then block this with my body. Oh wait, uh, 
Hold on a second. I need to block this one with my body. Okay. Oh, except that's not opened again. Uh, maybe I don't need this one anymore, actually, come to think of it. So let me go disconnect that one. Everything else here. Block this one. So that does that. Oh, but then that shuts it off. That's interesting. Not exactly what I was going for. As soon as I do that, then it shuts off entirely. I need to move that jammer. To somehow move this jammer off of... Sort of like that, I guess. Ah, okay. Hold up. I do that. I need to get the jammer out of there. Which I'm not going to be able to do because it's fucking thing here. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, you little shit. Okay. Do I need the jammer out of there? I might not. I might not need the jammer out of there. I do need it to probably block... No. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's reset this. Let's go like this, like this, like this. Get everything connected up. One big... Happy mess of dumb laser stuff. But then what? Like. Because, wait, wait, wait. This is blocked, right? So I can just take this right the fuck out of there. Well, I'm a dummy. Then I can do this. Then I can do this. Alright. We got it all out of there. So now. Now we connect shit up. Now we go blip 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 blip. Then we go oh dear. Ah. But I need to be able to control it with this thing, right? So like that. So I can control which one is which. Right? So we do that to keep that open. And we go over here and we like, oh yeah, we need red. Oh yeah, no, oh, no, we need blue. Oh, but now actually we need red. Oh shit, wait, why didn't this one open? Oh, I fucked up. Oh wait, we don't need it. <laughs> Just have the jammer. <laughs> ah, dummy. Oh boy. Not my brightest moment. <laughs> Well, we got it. We got it eventually. That's the important bit. Yeah, because I guess there wasn't a corresponding thing there. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Did not notice. But there we go. Okay. Now number eight. Oh, there's two question marks we can find now, too. Huh? All right. All right. Well, we're near the reachy hands, too, so we're... Approaching the uh, Sphinx star bit, the switch for it. Um, but first, we have, okay, another... Uh... Alright, are we facing the, oops, are we facing the correct direction for this? Oh, it needs to be like kind of down in, in one of the circle bits. Okay. Like, right, right down there, probably. Near number eight. 
Oh, one last lift for zero, it appears. Okay. Very good. In my reports to you, I have often spoken about this island in terms that some might perceive as negative. <laughs> you think? I hope you understand that the opposite is true. Mm. Here in these green hills, I see tremendous potential for transformation and spiritual awakening. I do not see the world as you do, Athena, but I see the rot at the heart of New Jerusalem. Uh -huh. If you and Cornelius want to go through with your plan, <coughs> then this is the perfect place. My students and I will help you transport the remaining tech from New Alexandria. After that, once you and Cornelius are settled, we'll get the fuck we'll out of your way. For our ah, journey. Ankles, no. I can only hope that we all find what we are looking for. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. So this is definitely the, the angle on it. Where's the? Uh, it's the actual location of this. Kind of looking at it a little cockeyed, right? Got kind of a, a lefty Terminator thumb going on there. Uh, okay. Right, right about here, yeah? Sort of. Those damn trees are in the way. It's like right about there. And I was like thinking it was about... Oh, there's a thing under. Aha! Ah! All right, very good. Okay, we'll pick that up at our leisure. Once we finish number eight. Photon sail, oh dear. Okay. Got a little flat horizontal little sort of force field thing going on here. Okay, red laser. Fan, couple boxes. I want a trade in bit, okay. And a button. It's just a fan. Alright, well, I can't walk on that, right? That's always like a. Uh, yeah, okay. Can't walk on it. Um. Okay, but we do have flip, flip, flip. That gets us to the fan. Then what? <laughs> but then what, though? Like, uh... So it gets me over there. And into a box. Can I just jump my butt over the fence by climbing on this? Oh, no, I can just kind of drop it out of bounds. Or drop it out of this spot. What the fuck good is that? Otherwise, I can't get out of here. Okay. Can I take the... Okay, I can take the fan bit with me. <clears throat> I don't know how... important that's gonna be. I guess it does let me weigh this down later. That's probably the only bit for it. How do I liberate one of these boxes? If I jump, can I jump up here? No, it doesn't like me standing on the platform that is clearly a fucking stable place to jump off of. I mean, I could reach in. Okay, I could reach in and grab the laser. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> I need to move this over such that we do that. They're like right about there. Blown over here, right? Easy peasy. And then yoink this from here. Now we've got a box. Woohoo, we've got a box. Um, but now what? <laughs> but now what? We've successfully traded for a box. Um, I suppose what I could do, and I'd probably 
myself over by doing it this way. Oh no, I can just put this back up and, and do that. Um, if I... Yeah, I can't swap anything for it though. If I do this, if I do bonk, bonk... Yeah, that's not gonna make any difference either, because this thing's gonna still be there. Alright, so say I do that. And I've got a box now, instead of a laser bit. Now what? Now what? Because all that does is propel me over there to get the box. We've got a detachable fan thing, which, alright, fine, cool, whatever. Can't get back in there without retrading the box for the laser bit. Because otherwise, I can't get back out. Alright, let's do that for the hottest of seconds here. We've got that, that. Yeah, it doesn't even get us elevated enough to do that. Alright. If I do that, okay, then what? I can grab the fan thing. That don't mean shit, though. Unless... Yoink. This is, this is stand me up just enough that I can be like, yoink, reach my robo-arms over the fence and grab the box. No, of course not. That would be silly. Okay. Wait, can I, um, hold up. Can I grab this fan? No, that one is permanent. That one is clearly bolted down with something that our robo-arms would not be able to pry up. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing any other sort of pick upable bits here? the button, which, you know what? Here, we're gonna put that there. That doesn't mean anything. It just gets, gets us up here, which, you know, would be okay. Back to this. Back to reaching our robo arms over the fence to grab the laser bit, right? That's really the only way. Oh, okay. I can, I can do it like this, right? Do this and set this up such that I can go bloop, and maybe even get the uh, the laser back. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Now we've got a laser and a box outside. Hey. All right. Progress. Then one. Then one. I guess we do this. We do this and we do that, right? We grab the box. Oh, right, because this does not gonna flow through there. Cool. But then what? <laughs> oh, I get it. Since we no longer need the fan, we can grab the fan, use that, well, I guess it doesn't matter which one we use. I just need the other box back. I'll keep the laser bit over here because I like lasers, but I want this other box, right? 
Then we go up there, and we're like, yeah, let's just leapfrog our fucking robot ass over this. No problem. Boy, that's tedious, but okay. Hey, we did it. Congratulations, 1K. That was a hard one. Pfft, Alcatraz, I don't need your backhanded compliments. A little shitter. Although it was a, a difficult one to think through, that's for sure. Um, okay, so we've got the one star we can pick up, and then the other star we need to trace down um, wherever the Prometheus little spark thing is. Which I think it's over here and pointing the direction, right? And then the other question mark will be probably the lab. Presumably. But I guess since we're here, we can get eyes on where this is going to be. Uh, oh, almost. Just about perfectly northwest there. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll file that away. I think we're well, not even partially close to this other question mark, but we'll look for it anyways. to be in the hills. Do they want me to climb up there? Are they going to let me climb up there? Go around. Aha! Okay, that's better. That's quite a distance to be hoofing it. If we gotta do Skyrim horse things and get over that thing. But hey, yeah, there's the lab final hidden bit that we needed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what sort of forbidden knowledge lies in this busted ass, fallout vault ass thing? Mm. It's a hologram of the murder pyramid. Alright. Cornelius. Athena, I don't know if you're there or why you're not answering. It's been a long time, but I think about you and Miranda every day. In fact, I've been using the museum to further my research, and I think there is hope. You know, I wouldn't say this lightly. Please respond. I'll return as soon as I can. I'll steal a VTOL if I have to. Oh, shit. Badass Cornelius gonna steal a fucking helicopter. Nice. Alright. Whoa, 89,000 trials. That's a lot of trials. Remaining instabilities eliminated. Final confirmation. Uh, V1.0 is successfully deployed. Oh, shit. Went to prod with that, huh? Impressive. That, that deserves a, a clap. A single clap for going to prod. Congratulations. Um, what now, though? What now? I guess you hope that nobody uses it so you don't never have to patch it, right? <laughs> uh, look at this. Fucking half a gold mothership ass looking thing. What the hell? Hmm. Hmm. DNA strands and shit too, huh? Boy, that's uh, that's something. Oh. Like we're digging into some wormholes too. Okay. Surely none of this will go wrong. None of this is gonna go wrong. Uh, you know, I foresee nothing but good times from messing with science beyond our comprehension. Nothing but good times. Okay, I think that's it. That's all that's here, huh? There's no, like, extra little glowy hand bits. I feel like there should be at least one. Oh, like the one right here. Duh. -uh. Or is this the one we just read? Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, well, 
can't wait for the other NPCs to be like, oh shit, what are we gonna do about this? And I'll be like, I don't know, I'm just here to solve puzzles. All right, place your bets on who's gonna ambush us on the outside of this one. Oh, nobody, impressive. Okay, I'm wrong. All right, and a bunch of stuff about Lifter's Ear. Lifter's Ear and his students helped Athena and Cornelius. Another fascinating discovery, courtesy of us. We're so cool. Uh, many events in our city's history has seemed disconnected, turn out to be part of a bigger pattern. That's something to be learned from that. So let's answer some questions I had, like how Athena and Cornelius transported all that equipment from Alexandria to the island. Of course. Like, if they, if anybody thought that it was just them two doing it, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Starting to get to know that Lift Razier was cool half the time. I have no idea what he's talking about. You and me both are Buddha Haas. But it's all just so interesting and weird. Good work. I see another good work. Like, we got like three or four attaboys tonight from the NPCs. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> or we could just be like, follow up with just basic bitch ass thank you. Or we, should we maybe send an expedition to go looking for Lift Razier and his disciples? That seems like the more prudent course of action. Let's maybe do that. And then here comes fucking Downer Jeremy. I'm afraid it simply would not be in keeping with our energy expenditure projections to mount such a massive undertaking. Man, Jeremy sounds like an idiot. Why does he get to decide? Isn't he like the right hand man of the mayor or something? I guess that would track, wouldn't it? Well, whatever. Okay. Well, that's the lab. That's the lab. We've got a star to pick up. And then what did I say? Northwest, right? Northwest to go find the... Uh, the... Um, the Prometheus bit thing. Um, well, northwest from wherever it was located, right? Uh, which is roughly there, so... More north and west at this point. Like about there. Or I guess, hold on a second. I'm really bad at directions. Maybe a little bit northeast, a little bit east on the northeast side here. So right about here. Well, that leads pretty much directly into two. You know what? I'll scope that out later. We'll go back to the Prometheus thing, get eyeballs on it, and, uh, and follow it there. Unless we somehow manage to eyeball it from our wanderings here. It's not going to happen because it's not what we're focused on. Let's go pick up the, the Sphinx Star first. Since that one is readily available. Hmm. Have we seen this stuff before? Oh yeah, this is one of the ghost things that was over here. could approach it from this side, right? Yeah, okay. And then we've just got the tower. A, a few Tetris bridges to go for the final tower to turn on the final murder laser, and then we get to go into the murder pyramid for presumably the last time. Okay, now. The forges and a hammer breaks. But who can know the heart of the blacksmith? Well, the blacksmith presumably knows their own heart, right? That's my assumption, anyways. Because who else would know? Anybody consider about asking the blacksmith about their heart? No? Well, then that's a shit riddle, Sphinx. What a downer for the last one. Alright, where was this last... Is the other star thing not shown up here? Oh, there it is. Okay. That's not the one we just jumped down from, is it? I guess it is kind of dimmed. I think we did jump down from that, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Where's the... Where's the other one? Where was the other one? Let's so we'll just run this way. Wait for it to appear on our compass and then redirect if we need to. 
when we need to. Because it was kind of southeastish, right? I guess, right? Because it was pointing northwest. it over there. Okay. Alright, one more start of track down. So what the heck is this over here? Oh, it's actually a normal ass puzzle. Don't need to do that anymore. All those are completed. Got the Chivo to prove it. Also got the Chivo to prove we did all the labs. We're about to get the Chivo that proves we got all the stars. Probably. Okay. I think we can probably eyeball this direction from down here. Uh, about right there. Yeah, that's pretty much directly northwest, isn't it? Right about there. Okay. Head on a swivel. Find that Prometheus bit. Mm, I find it doubtful that it's near the murder tower. Or up in the murder tower, rather, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't find it down here. Talk to everybody who was walking around, did we? So wherever that is, is that Yakut? Did we talk to Yakut? Can we uh, take a minor detour here and talk to Yakut without losing eyes? Hey, Yakut. Oh, no, he's got nothing to say. All right. Very good, then. Oh, there it is. It's on top of the weird hand thing. Surprised we didn't see that when we went for the glowy hand bit up there. Alright, last one. She be pulling no head picks here, Prometheus bit thing. Had enough of climbing mountains and going on weird fan things for one playthrough here. Oop. And... Oh, yeah, of course you're gonna go inside one of those. Oh, you're now you're up on top of something. Clever bastard. I bet I went the wrong way around for this again. Yeah, okay. Uh, shit. Oh, you're up there. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Aw, oh, fuck! <laughs> ah! Alright, I need a box. Do we have a box? We've got a box. Alright, give me this box. Just grab it. <laughs> you just grab the box itself. Dummy. Eh. Alright, now what? Uh. Yeah, the last section was not great for this, that's for sure. We did manage to keep up with it though, which was, you know, pretty good. There was only either one or two sections where I lost track of it entirely and had to had to peace out and come back, but
Oh, we got another ghost thing. Excuse me. We'll listen to ghost Are things before we speaking? continue this. Yep. All good. Those Mark IIs are real workhorses. Wow, did you finish the setup? Yes. Sorry I couldn't wait. It was so much fun to just do something again without having to end <laughs> Oh, Athena, that's a mood. What you mean? Fucking mood right there. Us, we do, but honestly, Cornelius, I haven't felt this excited in years. Just imagine, one day they'll come here and we'll be able to show them a whole new world. A mm. different future right at their fingertips. Mm. You do think we can do it, right? Mm. I think, and forgive me if this sounds sentimental, as long as we're together, we can do anything. Oh boy, Cornelius. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Good answer, I suppose, but a little trite. Yeah, the leap of faith was not great, to be sure. Like, again, this harkens back to TP1 doing a bunch of, like, platformy bits in a game and an engine that is clearly not meant for platformy bits. Not super jazzed about that one. But I guess we made it through, and that's good enough. here. What the hell? Like, I already got my steps in today. Okay, there we go. It's there. And then Melville. Okay, I don't need to talk to Melville. Alright, yeah, we know where it's going. Just get in there. For sake. Alright, and that'll be star, what, number 24, right? Two per bit, 12 bits. God appears and God is light mm. to those poor souls who dwell in night. Mm. But does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day? Sure? Sure. That's my answer, Prometheus, sure. Okay, that's all of them, right? That's every little tiny thing. Two stars. Two stars. Not great Yelp reviews, but two stars. Two stars. Two stars. Two stars. Two stars. Two stars. All the way around. Two stars. Fantastic. Okay, let's go build some Tetris bridges. This should be the last one, right? Hey, look at that. Oh, because it's pointing on the wrong side. Come on. Couldn't give me that one, huh? Fucking boo. There, let's do it the other way around, then. Hey, look at that. First try. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Uh, neither will this, probably. I got one more. One more bit here. There, that'll do it. Okay, final murder laser. Who's gonna be accosting us this time? Who haven't we heard from in a while? I'm gonna say Pandora, probably. One final warning from Pandora to Creature of Clay, don't do this shit, and I'll be like, no, fuck you, I'm, I'm doing it anyways. Although, I think, didn't Pandora talk to us last time, though? So maybe it's not Pandora. Maybe it's Prometheus. Could be Prometheus. Yeah, it's Prometheus. Okay, second guess. You have heard the myths of gods and titans. Uh-huh. But as you approach the end of your journey, uh -huh. I will tell you the truth that all men fear. Oh uh, yeah, huh? Lay it on me. The truth that neither Pandora nor the Sphinx will face. Okay. There are no gods, son of man. Wow, let there me sit no down. Titans, no heroes to save you. Uh huh. No divine judge to weigh your soul against a feather. Yeah, huh? Okay. Nature has no will and 
and she is not your mother. There is only you. Oh. The spark of the sublime that is your mind. Okay, wow, Prometheus. What an incredible act for a revelation. Oh, okay. Sure. Alright. What is the sublime? Okay, pretty direct. I like that. You're wrong. Nature is a living force. It has a purpose and will. I do not agree. I just need you to help me find Byron. Needs a little strong. Uh, all myths have an element of truth. Yeah, that's a wishy-washy. We must learn to wield the flame to illuminate the universe. Oh, boy. Um, what is the sublime, please? It is that voice within you which says, I am. Okay. Wow. What a, again, an incredible revelation. Um. Must learn to wield the flame. Yes, this is your duty. Your friend Byron understands this. Mm, I don't think he does. Can you lead me to him, though? <laughs> As you freed me, so I will help you free your friend. Alright, very when good. You are within Olympus, again, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say friend. Associate, maybe. Friend is being a little strong. And what is this? this is gonna be blue murder beam, right? We had the red, we had the green. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Alright. It's time to do this. Let's go get Byron. Let's go see the, the fruits of our many nights of labor here. And if it just ends with getting Byron, I'm gonna be a... Honestly, I'll be a bit disappointed. I feel like we're owed more than just Byron. Okay, yeah, colleague, yeah, I can... I can vibe with colleague there, yeah. Associate, maybe not enough. Friend, too much. Colleague, just about right, yeah. That seems good, that seems good. Okay, well, it's getting kind of late tonight, but we can probably, uh... Manage a murder pyramid yet tonight and be done with it and then we can tackle the uh, The extra puzzles next time but I don't think it's pessimistic to recognize our flaws Or to think the natural world is just as valuable as we are. Okay. Yeah, largely agree with that if I, was I wouldn't believe that we can turn our back on the old ways or that we can find happiness in humility but I Okay, do. fair enough I have hope, <clears throat> even if Byron could never see it that way. Well, Byron was kind of a shit in his own way, so don't get down on yourself too much, Alcatraz. <clears throat> Let's choose between Byron and a cheeseburger. Oh no! Oh, I shouldn't have played this game hungry then. <laughs> oh, then Byron's kind of fucked. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay, so we're here, and it's night. Let's go turn in the stars, I suppose, before we do the murder pyramid thing. One last time to offer our robo wrists to the stars thing, and be like, "Yeah, okay, cool." All twenty-four MacGuffins have been collected. Please, to show me to the actually good puzzles. Okay, thanks. That's not true. Most of these puzzles were very good. Very clever. I enjoyed them. Oh, we get My a theory cool cutscene. accounts scene. for everything. It explains every aspect of the cosmos. Every the aspect? Oh, that's very pretty. My goodness. And it works, which is the ultimate proof. I can calculate the history of the universe from the Big Bang to the death of the last atom, but what? when I compare my calculations to the available data, there's one point which consistently doesn't match up. Uh-huh. Millions of light years away in the void, there's an anomaly that's been there since before the beginning of time, and I, I think it's waiting for us. What? What? We're gonna pull some like Starship Troopers ass bullshit and be like, oh my god, there's a big bird out there. 
Like, come on. What? Alright, you kind of lost me on that one. I'm still going to do the puzzles, but you kind of lost me on that one. We'll see. When we come back and, uh... When we come back on Wednesday to do some of the extra puzzles, we'll see how that shakes out. I feel like that's a... That's a big ol' like, oh man, we're gonna leave this open. I, you know... Considering Crow Team, right? Crow Team and the Serious Sam franchise and all that... That would be, like, the lead into a number three, wouldn't it? That absolutely would be. Okay, so that's true to form. That's true to form. Oh boy. Oh, who is. Oh, is this Melville? No, no, it's Herman. Of course it's Herman. Really? <laughs> no, I'm gonna stream anyway. <laughs> Tough shit, Herman. In the goal was already waning. Yeah, and but your revelation in the Somnodrome may have given it the final blow. Wow, well, that sucks, doesn't it? How's that my problem? Was the truth, baby? I'm sure it was, and I don't even disagree. But no one really has all the answers. Here in a big ass butt here. The founder. Yeah. But that doesn't mean yeah, that we okay. don't need the goal. Newsflash, Herman. We don't need the goal. Let me speak plainly for a moment. Oh, wow. First time for everything. And I both know that I exaggerated. Hell yeah, I did. I built a myth around Athena uh -huh. that does not reflect what she believed. Okay, why though? But you have to understand. It wasn't really about her. Yeah, sure. It was about what the city needed. Yeah, mm -hmm. It was about keeping us together. Invested in a common narrative. Uh -huh. and it was about preventing us from going the way of our ancestors. Okay. Because temptation is real. Sure. And our flaws are still the same. Okay. So, so what? You're not telling me any new information here, Herman. You admit the goal is a myth. A myth, but a necessary one. Nah, I don't agree with I'm necessary. Not a or a fool, 1K. <laughs> Although I sometimes play one. <laughs> I'm just I get it. to do the right thing. Yeah, well, try harder. I know I can't stop you from trying to save Byron. Is he asking us to throw this? Pyramid could destroy everything I've tried to build. Hmm. Okay. Gonna ask us to throw the rescue of Byron here? Is that what is that the deal? Is that the goal must be preserved to prevent us from repeating mistakes? False. I share your fear theory of everything, but we can't build the future on a lie. Half true. Your myth is strangling our entire species. Three quarters true. You can shove your goal and the sun don't shine! <gasps> oh! Yes! You can shove your goal! <laughs> Very well. I've done what I could. Yeah, you didn't do much! I will! He took that way better than I thought he would, honestly. I thought he would come out swinging. Cause he knows, he knows he's on his way out. <laughs> Let's go. Oh boy. You're along this time? Yep. Well, what about protocol? Fox protocol? protocol? Yeah, close enough. I mean, it's not a four letter word, but close enough. Oh shit, actually, can we? Oh no, they're not. I think that we might, might have fucked up a little bit cause that last social media bit is going away. Ah, well. Um, Yakut, can you pull up a little bit? I don't want to fly right through that murder beam. Ah! Jeez, man, watch where you're flying. <sighs> okay, well... What are we gonna find in here besides Byron? Because we told the mayor to shove it, quite literally. So clearly we're gonna rescue Byron, but I do wanna see what else we get here. Mm, the sequence is extra long. So we're heading to the center, huh?
Mm. Maybe we will leave this for next time. Because it is getting a little bit late. And sometimes these murder pyramid sequences take a bit. Oh no, the social media bit did disappear. Oh no, it's right there. That's right. I knew it. It is aliens. Take that, everyone who doubted me is freaking aliens. Yeah, okay. All right, settle down, Jack. Maybe aliens are so far away it isn't going to matter for several billion years. <clears throat> I knew it would be aliens eventually, and I was right for a very broad definition of right. Let him have it. <laughs> oh, isn't that fucking social media in a gosh dang nutshell? My goodness. Okay, Yakut's got nothing to say. Uh, Alcatraz is being like, yeah, nah, I ain't going in there. And Melville's like, yeah, okay, I'll stay out here too. Um, and we're gonna be following Prometheus, I bet. So, you know, I don't deliberately do cliffhangers and shit, but we'll, uh, we'll stop there for tonight. And we'll pick this up next time. On the, the resolution to what is presumably the mainline bit here before we start on the extra puzzles. Um, so that'll be Wednesday, 7 p.m. CST with uh, Mortalis Principle 2 here. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST will be Shmup Book Club. So more Shienryu or Karis or Blue Wish Resurrection Plus. Uh, both of those are still going. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, you'll be Blong Play. So back to Assault Android Cactus. A few speed runs and other sundry items to take care of there. All right, well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.